What's up, beautiful people? So maybe not the um, crowd reaction that you were hoping for after, you know, what was obviously a pretty big win. Yeah. I mean, what do you kind of, what do you, how do you respond to something like that? I don't care. Like, I want, I want two to win. Um, anybody who doesn't think so, think that was a 10-8 round, I pieced him up in the first half in the first round. He held me down. He did a good job. He has a really good top of control. He's really tight on his doubles. And he's strong. And he's got really good positioning. Um, but I, I won the first two rounds pretty easily. He didn't do anything on the ground the, 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 the end of the first two rounds. Um, he did a really good job on the, in the third, like when he got me down. Did a really good job. Did a really good job reshooting once I finally got up. <coughs> it was disheartening. For sure, but uh, I won the fight. Given the way that we've seen fights get judged over the history of this sport, was there any part of you, as you're waiting, that I was nervous to... about it? Yeah. No, I, I felt I pieced him up pretty solidly. Anybody, like, to Roy's credit, I firmly believe that anybody else in the world slept multiple times in that fight. Like, especially in the first round. Like, I, th I think anybody else in the world, nobody takes that. Roy does. Um, and it was frustrating, but we knew it going in. We actually, we, we felt that Roy was going to be very, very similar to um, uh, Ollie Thompson, where I just hit that dude with the kitchen sink many times and he was still there. And we knew Roy was going to be the same way. Like, we, we, we figured this was going to be a 15 minute nasty fight. And it was. How's your shoulder? A shoulder? Are they sexy? I don't know. Should <laughs> something, something be wrong with it? I don't know. Well, you know, it seems to me that you're quite a hurry in the glass room. You're talking like this right here when I got dumped? Yeah. Talking about that? Yeah, that's right. Oh, shit, that's when Travis Brown, man. Come on, I'm a grown man. Shit. By the way, this is a white Russian. Just letting you guys know that. <laughs> no fade or joke. Matt, you know what Roy does. You know what he was going to try to do. He still took you down. What is it about him that... You know he's got. You know what what kind of takedowns he does, but he still gets. Like, what does he do? It's so difficult to prevent him from taking you down. He's durable. Um, and you know he doesn't. He doesn't spend any superfluous energy, right? Like he's extremely efficient with with his energy. He was tired. I mean, he's just. He's he's strong. He stays really tight on his doubles. He's hard to get away from. Really, really difficult. I felt like I was going to be able to sprawl and brawl on him all day long. I didn't think if, if he got me against the wall, I felt I was going to be safe. I felt I was going to be fine. Uh, I wasn't. He was strong. He had a really good positioning. Do you feel this helps you going into your next fight? Because either Mola Wall or Ryan Bader, both those guys, strike a wrestler. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, I definitely do. And, um, you know, I just, I, I live at Purdue University. I wrestle with the Purdue wrestling team. Uh, my, my team, uh, Team Two Ton, all really strong wrestlers. Um, so I'll be prepared for it whenever it is. I don't even know when the date is. We're going to fight in May, so. Got a while to go. Yeah, you, you're okay for a bit. Yeah, I'll be hanging out for a little bit. How, how are you with, with a layoff like that? I mean, is that going to be totally cool now? A Rolling Stone gathers no moss, brother, and I'm trying to stay stay momentum filled. But that's what the man says. That's what the man says. So before the fight, this is one of the fights you've been looking back on your career one half. That's a good habit to have. Mm -hmm. Um, it was a great fight. That's how I feel. I feel like it was a great fight. <clears throat> Roy is um, an extremely tough dude, and um, you know he's he's salty. I went to go talk to him after the after the fight, and he and his wife were salty about it. But uh, I mean, like they say in Russia, tough shitsky. I mean, it is what it is, you know. Like, uh, and, and he's tough. It was a good it was a good fight. Uh, I think I made it way too exciting, but uh, I mean, good good on Roy. He did a great job. Well, I believe I'm a casually arrogant prick, so yeah, <laughs> I believe that's that's somewhat accurate. But um, you know, I don't I don't think I'm arrogant enough to not think that I'm infallible and that I can't be beaten. Um, so I think from that. I've got a lot to learn. My, my teammates, uh, Team Two Time, and Coach Henry, and everybody down in Florida, <coughs> they won't ever let me get too big for my britches. And Purdue, like uh, Coach Tyrell Tide and Jake Haven, the guys I wrestle with there, and Sean Streck, like those dudes will, when I get back home, my daughter and I have a father daughter dance. She accepted my offer, by the way. So um, we have a father daughter dance tomorrow night, and then I'll be back in the wrestling room on Monday, and they'll be dumping me on my head left and right.
think that delivers tonight for Bellator for the main event? I think a majority draw of a tough ass fight is, is delivering, I would say. And if somebody didn't like it, like I said before, tough shit ski. Are you okay? Yeah, it's, it's just a compression sleeve. That's all. Like, it's fine. There's no kind of issues with it. I just wear it like, because um, I post so much, I pivot so much on it for my kicks and I torque a lot on it. So sometimes it'll kind of puff up on me a little bit. So I just put it on there after a fight or after like a real heavy practice. Just kind of make sure that any kind of inflammation pushes out, circles back out. Uh, Matt, your next opponent obviously is going to be Vader or Kimo. The both light heavyweights, you're obviously a lot bigger than them. How do you feel about fighting in light heavyweight? Do you think you get enough credit beating a quality opponent? You know that Mo, Mo's fought heavyweight a handful of times. So, and he won the heavyweight Grand Prix, right, in uh, Ryzen? Yeah. So Mo's, Mo can be heavyweight if he wants. Uh, and Bader's, Bader's no punk. Um, that means he's a light heavyweight champ. And there's always, that's why this, this, this Grand Prix is kind of exciting. It's really the super fight Grand Prix. Like there's always conversations, well, a light heavyweight beat a heavyweight. Can, he, can a heavyweight handle, handle their quickness? Can a light heavyweight handle their power? This is a, this is a what if tournament. Do you have a preference of fighting Bader or Kimo? I don't care. Let them figure it out. All right. Now, obviously, that light heavyweight, you're a heavyweight, you're going to be bigger than them. Does that change anything in, in, in your body? Like, do you want to bulk up a little bit and be even bigger, or the opposite, when you slim down and try to match that speed? <coughs> I'm, I'm skinny right now. I don't know if you can tell how sexy I was with my shirt off today or not, but um, I, I'm, I, I'm probably 251. I weighed in with jeans and a belt buckle on. So I'm probably 251. I don't see myself getting much thinner than that. Um, but. Uh, I mean, hell, whatever my body does. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 40 this year, man. My body just does whatever the hell it wants to do, and I just go along with it. Now, before this tournament, you said that you thought Roy Nelson was the number two guy, and he was your biggest test. Yeah. Do you feel any relief now that you've got past when you said he's the biggest test in this tournament? Uh, do you guys agree with that? Do you think that was that an accurate assessment, especially after tonight? There's a lot of good guys in this. Though. There are. There are a lot of really good guys in this. Um, I don't know, man. I, yeah, I, I, I haven't had a chance to marinate on it, but... Uh, I'm ready to go drink some white Russians and hang out with my family. And uh, my last question for you. That third round, you know, the crowd was going crazy. Uh, Roy Nelson had you in that crucial fix. How hard were you? I wasn't hurt at all. I wasn't hurt at all, actually. Like, and the punches weren't even bad, or the elbows, they weren't bad. Like, they were, they were landing, but like, most of the time they were landing with like, this part of your elbow, so it's pretty meaty. So it, really, it didn't really bother me at all. It was just, that's why, that's why I'm really glad I didn't stop it, because it wasn't doing anything to me at all. all right. Were you talking to the referee? It seemed like you would. Yeah, I felt like Roy's toe. Cause I, I, I was pushing down. I, I was I was going for a, like a, to, to hook his leg to pull him out of position to change his hips, and I couldn't hook his toe. And it felt like it was like a dead stop. So I was like, "Hey, is his toe in the fence?" Because it felt like his big toe from the angle was stuck in the fence because there was no leeway. There was no give. And most of the time, there's going to be some kind of a give if I can hook a heel in there and try to pull it apart. Uh, and it wasn't. Was he saying anything back to you like, "Hey, I'm gonna stop this"? Uh, yeah, I think he said improve your position, and I did, right? I mean, it was hard. Roy has great positioning, so it, it was difficult to improve position, but I did, and that's the reason why I never got stopped. And, like, I was never in trouble. I was never in danger. Like, I was communicating very freely with him uh, throughout the entire thing, so you could tell if I was dazed or, or not, and I wasn't. All right, last question. Matt, last question for me here. I know your first couple of fights were getting dropped. You were doing a lot of things, engaging a lot. This fight seemed your footwork was on par. You were moving around. You didn't let him... <coughs> Just tee off the right hook. How much have you been working on that? How much have you worked on just? I let him tee off on the right hook. You know, in this fight, you were almost more agile on your feet. You were moving uh -huh. around. How much have you been working on that? You know, the footwork has become more of a complete strike. <laughs> you know, uh, that's that's what we work on all the time. And with Roy, like we know that Roy wants to fight in front of um, and for me, uh, my fighting style is, is get me wide open, let me move around, let me be an athlete. I cannot athlete anybody in MMA, I believe, but like in heavyweight division. Um, and so uh, I felt that, uh, or we felt, sorry, Edward, we felt that um, be athletic, mobile. It's only 17 minutes. Like I can do anything in the world for 17 minutes. Maybe 15 and a half, I got kind of tired. All right, salut, everybody. Thank you.